September 18th found Fraser High's football team up in Washington Township to play a special game. We were in right from the get-go. We wanted to be involved. The neat thing is it started with just two football teams. It kind of uh, just exploded from there. Pink could be found everywhere as the pair of communities rallied around a football game raising cancer awareness and more than $70,000 for research and treatment. A tunnel formed by cancer survivors welcomed the players onto the field. When, when we asked all the survivors to come out on track and line up and have the Frazier team announce come out, continue the line on one side, have the Romeo team come out, continue the line on the other side. Um, it's going to be pretty, pretty meaningful, especially for survivors, huh? Pink t-shirts were the cornerstone of the fundraiser. The sea of pink tomorrow is going to be amazing. It really is. The players, meanwhile, collected donations to raise money for special jerseys they wore during the game, with the names of a cancer survivor or victim close to them on the back. Frazier's Keith Thomas honored his aunt, a cancer survivor. I'm playing for my aunt, Tiffany Brooks. Uh, she's a two-time survivor, so that means it came back after she went through remission. So now she's going through it again, and this game for me is just, it's not, it's not even about the game, it's about honoring her and her strength in the game. So, I mean, the game is secondary. I'm, I'm going to try my best to, to make her proud of the stance. I know she'll be watching, and she will be there. Today, just words can't express what this means to me. Um, it's just so overwhelming just to know that my nephew is doing something. And anybody who's down there wearing a picture tonight, so thank you for doing so your part. Honored. to I help love out you with so that. much for this. Frazier scores a late touchdown but lost the game 48 14. Yet that wasn't the end to the night. And once the game ends, we're going to call all the um, everyone wearing the pink onto the field between the 20s. Romeo's already chalked out a uh, symbol on the field, and uh, we're going to try to get a, a, a huge human uh, ribbon, and uh, I think that's going to be pretty emotional. Forming the ribbon was followed by players exchanging jerseys with the survivors they honored for family of victims. When we're uh, making the jersey presentation, I think uh, there's going to be a few tears uh, that are going to be uh, spilled. Seeing the faces, um, you can see the pride that, that they've done and their coaches have done as far as raising all the money. Um, it's been a community effort, and, um, and I go back, it's going to be between two football teams, and it has just bonded the entire, the entire community. Yeah. The game didn't go the you know, way we wanted, but I mean, it's just, uh, it, it's a huge lesson for all of us to learn that uh, there's a heck, you know, there's more to football. There's more to football, and people are the most important thing. I'm really happy that we were part of it. As far as uh, the fundraiser itself and the awareness, uh, we've already won. 